Hello everyone, thank you for joining me again today. I um, thought I'd do something a little bit different. Um, you may have noticed that I'm using Game Glass along with the Thrustmaster HOTUS. Um, the setup for those two individually is very easy and very straightforward. You simply go to Options. Let me get back on that screen. Let me get back on that screen. There we go. Go to Options. Go to Controls. And you see in Odyssey, you have individual controls. Um, and you would have to do this for each of them. Not just one, but all of them. Select the control. Go to the drop-down. There's the pure setup for the Thrustmaster T16000M HOTUS. And there's the, uh, the pure setup for the game glass. If you were using any one of them alone, you would select the Thrustmaster, if using the Thrustmaster, obviously, and the game glass if you were just using game glass. But what if you're using both of them like I am? Well, that's where this custom display or this custom setup right here comes in handy. Um, real easy to do. No big deal. Uh, since you, since I already have it set up, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna open things up and take a and you can take a look at them, and then uh, follow my hopefully simple directions, and get yourself set up. Okay, so you just fire the game up. You just go in. Say you have just the Thrustmaster, so you would select the Thrustmaster, um, and that would select all of your joystick settings for the various functions in the game. Simple enough. But what about, like I say, what if you're using the game glass? What I would suggest doing, and what I did, is I went into the game glass and I wrote down the specific functions that it does. Now this is similar to, the basically, this is going to do two things for you. One, when you select the HOTUS, it essentially locks out the keyboard. So you have very few keyboard controls. And, which is okay, but there's not enough buttons on the HOTUS to cover all the functions. So, what you're going to want to do is add those functions to the HOTUS profile, which will lead to your custom profile. So what I did is I came in here and I wrote down the WSAD backspace, space, blah, 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 so on and so forth. Galaxy map, um, camera suite, so on and so forth. Then I went to Then I went to the pure Thrustmaster setup, and I went in and I added basically the keyboard controls for um, as a secondary uh, secondary controls with the keyboard or with the the HOTUS. Sorry. Um, the only thing that I have found that is a problem is the game glass controls which start off with left control or left alt seem to want to call up the uh, frame shift drive can't get around it. I don't know whether the game is not reading all of the commands that are coming in because it's a string of commands. You can see there for the camera suite, for example, it's left control plus the left alt plus the space. Now, I don't know if the game is, is only reading the first command and missing the rest of it um, or the game glass is sending them too fast 
or what the exact problem is. But it's it's an annoying issue. It's not the end of the world. And the benefits of combining the two, combining the game glass and combining the HOTUS controls is is actually gives you three benefits. One, you've got the HOTUS. Two, you've got the game glass. And three, you now have you now have all your keyboard commands mapped to the the custom profile. Real simple. I know you can do it. Anybody can do it. Hell, I did it. Um, but again, there are some functions that, again, for whatever reason, the previous track, play, pause, next track on the game glass they call up they want to call up the the frame shift drive so you got to sort of watch what you're doing um when you're doing it the big ones you want to look out the big ones you want to make sure that you get uh mapped galaxy map system map uh the night vision um cargo scoop landing gear um analysis mode those are the big ones you want to get mapped uh, the lights hide HOTUS or hide the HUD and the orbit lines. Eh, lights, yes. The the other two, if you get a map, you get a map. If not, you're not missing anything. You can still, um, if you map them to your keyboard, you can still do them via your keyboard. Now, speaking of the HOTUS, um, can't really see it, but I'll bring it here in the middle. So you can see it on the small cam. Let me let me make that a little bit bigger for you. Oh, that camera is such horrible resolution. But you'll notice I have I have my joystick to my right. I am right-handed. That's where I like to have it. Um, the default HOTUS profile has buttons like your Cargo scoop, your um, landing gear, your night vision, um, all on the right-hand side buttons of the HOTUS. I'm right-hand, so I'm right-handed. The joystick is to my right. Those buttons are out of my sight. I can't see them. I have to lean over the HOTUS to be able to see those buttons. So what I did, and what you can do, is Again, while you're making this custom profile, um, let's cancel out of that. Uh, ship controls. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba, what are we under? Um, there's your orbit lines, your orbit lines. Um, targeting, no. Light miscellaneous. Nah, that's not it. Been there. Anyways, you can find them. They're they're clearly labeled under miscellaneous. Yeah, there we go. They're under miscellaneous. Cargo scoop, landing gear, um, night vision is night vision right there. You can see, I have it. I remap them to the left hand group of buttons and remap the controls for the left side to the right side because they're right there I can see them and if you haven't noticed um, the little white dots on here I know you can't see them the little white dots I have my buttons numbered because I'm an idiot I don't know which ones they are so it's easy for me to look and say oh that's button eight seven six five four um, actually five six seven eight nine ten uh, so real easy um, you can go to your you go to your local office story pick up pick up a little pad like this that has numbers on it um, electrical supply house will have them guaranteed these are for these are for labeling labeling wires um, or if you have a label maker you can make your own labels or if you've got one of those fancy white um, sharpie pens or whatever they are you can write right on it but that's up to you i had the stickers handy i put the stickers on it um that was my solution to the stuff being out of sight on the far side of the hotus 
with the far side of the joystick, I moved them here to the left, the left side. Other than that, I'm using a fairly normal setup. Um, I got the throttle on the left, joystick on the right. Everything's ma mapped out pretty much as it shows, except for, again, the, the, the buttons on the lower portion of the, the joystick. I have, um, uh, have them customized. Customization is the key to having fun. If you're hunting all over the place find, uh, looking for stuff and you, you get frustrated because you press the wrong button, you're not having fun. Map them out so they're easy for you to use. Map the ones that use the most and go kill Tharlords, Thor, 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 whatever the frack they're called. Go kill pirates. All right, folks, you have a good one. Um, come see me. Come join our Discord. The uh, oh, by the way, all the links for the stuff that I'm using for Game Glass, for um, EDDI, for uh, Coriolis, um, all the databases, uh, EBBD, uh, they're all on my site under the um, About window. I got links right there. I got links for Discord and. I know I hate doing this, but donate, donate, donate. Keep me running. I'd like to go ahead and uh, upgrade my internet so I don't have these, this choppy video problem anymore. So, anyways, folks, I'll see you out there in the dark.